Hello everybody, welcome to another drawing video. Today we're going to be drawing Wallace. Now last time we drew Gromit and I brought in a little figure to show you. And this time I have this Wallace figure that went along with the Gromit one. And again I just love the very screen accurate details of, of both of those figures. So we're going to go ahead and start drawing Wallace now. Just like Gromit, Wallace first appeared back in 1989 in the film A Grand Day Out created by Nick Park. And fun fact about that film, it actually took seven years for Nick Park to create the film. It was a college project that he was working on in film school. And when creating Wallace, very early on, he had Peter Salas in mind to do the voice. And he only paid him 50 pounds at the time. And Peter Salas was kind enough to provide the voice and he did an absolutely wonderful job the late, great Peter Salas. We all love and miss him, and we'll forever remember him as this, this wonderful voice of Wallace. Wallace is such a lovable character. He's not the brightest guy, but he creates some of the most interesting and wackiest inventions, and he really loves cheese. And I love cheese too myself, so I can totally uh, understand Wallace's love for cheese. Poor Gromit. Poor Gromit has to a lot of times save both of them uh, in different situations. Wallace just won't always see what's going on, but Gromit knows what's up and, and Gromit always has to sort of save the day. I remember when I was younger, I really loved working with clay, although I wasn't all that good at it, but I always tried to create uh, Wallace and Gromit-like characters. And I remember there was a, a Wallace and Gromit forum that I used to read that had a lot of tips on creating characters. And um, one of the things about them that's pretty interesting is that their eyes are actually made out of beads and then they paint little pupils on uh, the eyes and then put those into the clay. And characters like Wallace that speak actually use different mouthpieces that they swap out and, and smoothen up the clay around them so that uh, they can swap back and forth between all kinds of different mouthpieces to do the lip syncing. I used to have this great book about Ardman Animation, which is the film company that creates the Wallace and Gromit short films and it had all kinds of information about stop-motion animation techniques and and modeling and things like that. It was a really interesting book and it was very inspiring for me when I was younger. As I said before, Wallace famously loves cheese and he always does this little thing with his hands when he says the word cheese so I thought I, I really needed to add that little uh, little hand motion that he does into this drawing to just really, it's just such a big part of his character and his personality. It just doesn't feel right to not have that in there. Another interesting thing about the animation that I actually was, was looking into today and a little bit of research for this video was that for, I talked about in the last video about Gromit, the, the great train chase scene in The Wrong Trousers. And how they actually did that was they, it wasn't done by a computer operated camera, which you would probably do something like that now, but they actually attached the train and the characters to this, this pole that was connected to the camera. And they just changed the shutter speed on the camera and would move it as they were taking each frame so that the characters would not be blurry. They would be in focus, but the background would be this blur. And you just, you get this incredible sense of motion for being something that's created frame by frame at a time. Um, it's just really uh, quite a feat to create such an action-packed, intense chase scene just frame by frame at a time. Another fact about Wallace as well, when creating Wallace, Nick Park was inspired a bit by his own father. I believe a bit of that inventing side of Wallace comes from Nick Park's father. And Nick Park himself is a lot like both Wallace and Gromit in, in different ways, and I love that he infused some of his own personality into both those characters. And here we have our finished drawing of Wallace. I hope you guys enjoyed today's drawing video, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.